So in this video, I'm going to talk about language generators and operator precedence in Blockly. So to illustrate this, I'm going to start by dragging in a block here, uh, which is going to take text. You can see it's going to take text and it's going to convert it into a list. And the way it's going to do it is it's going to split the text on whatever you put here. So just as an example here, I could put something like ABC, DEF, GHI. So that's all one string, uh, but separated by commas. And you could see I already have a comma block in here. It's a shadow block. And if I do to JavaScript here, you'll see that I could see ABC, comma, DEF, GHI, and it splits on the comma. So if I actually just copy this code and put it in the console, you'll see that you get the list A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So the question is, how does it take this block here, actually these three blocks, uh, this make list from text block, and this text block inside of it, and this shadow text block, and generate this JavaScript code? So the answer is with language generators. So you can see that over here, um, we have a language generator for this lists split block. And that's this purple block on the outside. And the way we actually know that this ties into this, or that these are connected, that this uh, list split is this block over here, is if you do export to XML here, you will see that this outer block here, uh, you'll see that lists split. So you look at the type, right? Um, and you could also see these other blocks here that are inside are both text blocks. Again, by just looking at the types of the blocks. And you see this one is a shadow. Uh, you can see this is a shadow block. Right? So how does it actually, let's go back to the JavaScript code here. How does it generate this? Well, if you see this uh, blockly.javascript lists split here, and again, this is a JavaScript generator, so that's why you see that. You'll see that it's going to return the code here, and we'll come back to what this means in a moment. But it returns the code, which is the input plus a period, the function name plus the open parenthesis, the delimiter, and the close parenthesis. So the input here, so what's input going to be? Input is going to be whatever this thing is, right? Um, and what this thing is going to be is the code generated by this block. And delimiter, similarly, is going to be the code generated by this block. So how do you know that from this value to code, uh, this line with value to code? Well, let's just again convert this to XML. And you'll notice that there is something called value name equals input. And inside of this value name equals input element, right, you'll see you have this block type equals text. And again, this is the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And similarly for the value name equals delim, right, and again, we use the delim input, uh, you will see that it's also a block, but this one's a shadow block, uh, or it's also a text block, but this one's a shadow text block and its value is going to be comma, right? So value to code is going to take the block that you pass it, um, and again, this block that's being passed is this list, lists split block, which is that purple block on the outside, and it's going to take the input, it's going to look in the input that's named whatever you give as the second argument, so over here it's input, over here it's the limb, it's going to look at those blocks and it's going to see the code that it generates, right? So this block over here, this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, uh, this is just a string literal block or a text. It's a string literal and it's just a text block. Um, and the code for it is very simple. It's basically just whatever text is entered here uh, surrounded by single quotes. And similarly, this shadow block, the shadow text block, with the comma is just going to be the single quotes with a comma in between, right? So again, let's look at the code that is uh, generated, right? 
or the code that's going to be returned from this purple block, right? It's going to be the input, right? Which we just said is going to be, in this case, the ABCDFGHI, right? That string with the um, surrounded by single quotes, followed by a period, followed by the function name, which is going to be assigned uh, split. And how do we know that we actually get to this? How do we know that mode equals split equals true? I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so it's going to be dot split, an open parenthesis, the delimiter, um, remember, which is the code generated from this block over here. Um, so that's just going to be a comma inside of single quotes, followed by a closing parenthesis, right? So this block over here is going to generate the code that's selected here, um, and then a semicolon is going to be added. Uh, and we won't worry about how that's being done. Okay, so that's basically uh, what's going on here. Remember, I also said I would tell you what mode is, um, or how, how it knows that mode is split. You could see it's getting the field value of mode. Uh, and again, if you export to XML, um, you will see over here the mode is given right now as split, right? So it's this block dot get field value of mode is going to be this, which is split. So capital SPLIT will be assigned to mode, so mode is equal to split. And you will see then that the function name, uh, variable function name gets assigned to split, right? So just to show you, if we were to change it to the other one and we'd export to XML, you could see that it goes to join. Um, this block actually popped out because it was no good, right? You want to make text from a list. This wasn't a list. Uh, but I'll just show again that you do to JavaScript and uh, you get the uh, dot join here instead. So let me just undo that. I'm actually just pressing uh, control Z. Uh, and I will put that block back in and we'll get the to JavaScript. Okay, so uh, that hopefully was simple enough, all right? Um, but what I didn't talk about was this over here, this blockly.javascript.order member, this blockly.javascript.order none, and this blockly.javascript.order function call. So let me talk about uh, those things now. And those are actually, by the way, just referring to numbers. So the numbers that they are um, are actually listed in this file here, which I'll uh, put in the link. It's the javascript.js file in the generators folder of the Blockly repository. And what you can maybe see here, you might not know all of these things, but at least from um, math, you'll notice that, for instance, uh, exponentiation is done before multiplication, which is done before addition. And you'll notice that the ones that have a higher precedence or the operators that are done first have a smaller number associated with them, right? Um, I should say not the ones that have a higher precedence. I should say the ones that have a higher or the same precedence. Um, so like multiplication and division have the same precedence, uh, but the uh, multiplication, which uh, has a lower number here, right? Um, exponentiation has a higher precedence than multiplication, um, and you have a lower number there as well. So this is strictly higher precedence. Um, these are the same, right? So as you go down this list, you will get uh, operators that are uh, the same or less, right? Um, or I'll say of lesser precedence, right? Okay. So going back 